Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. It's been requested quite a bit and uh, I thought fine, we'll finally get to this. So I we're going to be starting off with Full Throttle tonight. This is an adventure game made by LucasArts and I haven't actually played this one. Uh, it's actually a bunch of LucasArts adventure games I haven't played. Mostly the... um. What are they called? Mostly the Indiana Jones ones. Because I didn't really grow up watching the in Indiana Jones films. I've seen most of them, but not frequently. Um, but Full Throttle... I don't think I've ever done a full playthrough of it. I might have played bits of the beginning of it before. And I've certainly seen the introduction to it. Um, which brings me to a rather salient point. The introduction to this game is very good. It does have a piece of, uh, I'm assuming copyrighted music though, done by a band called The Gone Jackals. It's very good. It's called Legacy. Um, I don't know how YouTube's going to handle that. It tends to like you know, slapping copyright things onto videos when I upload them to YouTube. So if there's a problem with that from YouTube, I might end up having to remove the part of the introduction, which is thankfully, thankfully, Really only the credits roll. There's no pertinent information for the storyline there other than, you know, setting the tone for the game. The music is really good. I recommend listening to it. Um, but there's no dialogue or anything over that. So if you want to see the full... If, if I have to end up cutting that bit, if you have to... If you want to see the full introduction, I recommend looking it up on YouTube because it's certainly there. I think there's a full playthrough with it there. Anyway, let's get this started. This is actually not the original version of the game, since I don't own that. This is Full Throttle Remastered. However, um, as you saw, was this was released by Double Fine, which is a company of people who worked on the game, some of these games back then. Um, but if we go into the settings, we see we have features here. And I think for this, I'm going to play with pretty much everything as much as possible on Classic. It keeps putting Remastered back onto On. Um, because, well, I don't mind everything being how it was. And, uh, you know, I prefer playing games how they were upon release rather than remasters. If I ever get to Day of the Tentacle, yes, I will be playing the original version of that, not the re-released version, because frankly, <laughs> sometimes they don't look pretty, pretty good. They don't look very good, the remastered versions. This one seems to be generally considered pretty good. However, regardless of that, we're going to be playing just with classic art, classic music, sound effects, and speech. I have also put subtitles on. Uh, remaster gameplay. That was on off as well. I don't know what that does, but I'm sure there's nothing in the game which is so, you know, impassable that um we have to play with remaster gameplay on. People played this game and finished it when it first came out, so I'm willing to do the same. Anyway, enough of that. Let's go start a new game. And watch the intro for the game. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. Rick Berger, you're dumber than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan. My vision. I know your plan, Rip Berger. You're waiting for me to die so you can take over my company. Oh, sir, that's horrible. 
I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why, thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Mortis customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. You know I'd be on one right now, sir, if it weren't for my destabilizing inner ear condition. Ah, your ears are fine. It's what's between them that scares me. Hey, Ben. Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right. Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm. An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely, he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. 
Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the Polecats are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200-pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. Hey, where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. He did? Well then, let's roll him, boys. Yahoo! Boy, here we come. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Rather long entry. But, yeah, it does a pretty good job of setting the whole plot up. As I said, I might have to skip that part of the credits where the song's playing. Hmm. Oh well. Hello, welcome. I'm glad you could be here, considering you're the one who requested this game, didn't you? Uh, you've been playing Blood Fresh Supply. I recommend that. I enjoyed my playthrough of that. Rick Burger's voiced by Mac Heim Mark Hamill. Yeah, I think... I think I just managed to pick up on that when I saw Mike Hamill voice the character in this. Also, Tress McNeil and uh, Maurice LaMarche. And, of course, Steve Bloom. I'm going to have to <laughs> see whether I can guess which other character in the same voice. Um, switch render mode. I suppose that's for the newer graphics. Object highlight. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, There we go. Oh, uh, okay. That's not actually too bad. That hasn't changed it too much. I still prefer the pixel art, though. Even though this is, like, scan-ins of artwork. Like, this would have been scanned in from artwork because done by Peter Chan, was it? I think, or at least what he was one of the artists who worked on it. Um, he, he also did artwork for Monkey Island 2. Um, but this is done in, like, Photoshop, I'm guessing? Yeah, it looks like a brush tool over there. But we'll stick to this, even though it's not widescreen. It does two characters, actually. Oh, that's Mark Hamill. Interesting. Okay, I think we're in here. Yeah. <laughs> punch, 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 punch. Punch. Let's get out of here. Nice animation. Okay. Anything in there? Did they say they'd take our jacket? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Yes, okay. I was trying to, like, activate my verb bar, but, uh... I'm guessing we don't have that yet? Let's go up here. There's our bike. I suppose they came back and dropped it it's off closed. here? It's closed. It's closed. Yes, okay. Anyone home? I don't have anything. 
Hmm. I feel like I can go in there. What's in the crates? Ah, oh, here we I go. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Oh, hang on. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. <laughs> hold on. There we go. Okay, just hold down the left mouse button. Look at the boxes. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. How conscientious of you. Can we pick him up? Nah. He can flatten his own boxes. <laughs> okay. What about kicking them? Or nah. Something? He can flatten his own boxes. Okay. What about this? I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh, that's... Okay. That's talk. Or use mouth. This is use eyes. That's grab. That's kick or... Something else. I've woken up and worse. <laughs> I've touched it enough. What do I kick it? Uh. Take that. <laughs> what about these boxes? They're empty. Yeah, okay. What about these crates? Oh, we're not looking at the... I've uh... woken up and worse. Okay. Let's go over here then. Uh, can we kick the door open? We need some answers. <laughs> hey there. I, uh, fixed your door. <laughs> it was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. What's it say about him? I've never liked nose rings. Me neither, but someone dared me. Can't you just have it removed afterwards then? Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those... Those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Uh, where'd everyone head off to? I want to know who knocked me out. What'd you got for a headache? What do you got for a headache? A little sympathy. Thanks. But not much. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do about it? What do you have? Uh... I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. You should learn to handle your liquor. Uh, I'm getting mouthy, you are want you? something? Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe they're up on the Lido deck. <laughs> You're being unhelpful. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <laughs> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there, but why ambush the pole cats? I'd better get moving. Hmm. <laughs> this guy's chin is so square, you can see it all the way over here. Have you got anything else to say? I got nothing to say. No? Okay. What about that? Ah, uh, booze. Yep. Can we take some? Can't. Gotta ride. Gotta be responsible. What about the piano? Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Can you play the piano? Yeah, right. <laughs> what about kicking? Play. <laughs> well, it kind of played. Does it play piano? What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> it looks exactly like it does, does it? Okay. That's one big fish. Yep. What about these? Atlas. Those might look good mounted on my handlebars. Nah. You'd have wide clearage. Why does it you already look do? good mounted on my handlebars? Nah. Okay, the same thing. What about this? Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Oh, we can't look at that whatever it is up there. Fifteen guys with towels in their belts? My graduating class from bartending school. Are you the guy with the lampshade on his head? Or the guy chugging out of the punch bowl? Lampshade. 
How about this one? This your pit bull? Nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> Whoa. Watch it, that's my sister. Uh, what's this the up here? The monitor doesn't have any controls. Oh, they're TVs. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> Can't put the TV on? The monitor doesn't have any controls. Yeah, okay, fine. Some boxes up there. There's a register. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to spend my time looking at everything because I like the descriptions mm -hmm. they put into these games. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. Also, the voice acting. Nothing to grab. It's empty. Yeah, well. Uh. Anything else around here? There's a bottle up there, but I can't get that. I'm not seeing anything. I think we got all that we need. Yeah, there's our keys. Can we use them on the piano? I think it's tuned for a different key. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's leave. Good thing Ripburger didn't touch my bike. Good thing for him. I thought... We did see someone drive off on a bike at the beginning. Did they use his bike or did they come back with it afterwards? I think I said that earlier, but... Hmm. What if we go over here? Okay, it's a barren wasteland out there. We should probably use our bike. It's a nice mix of 2D and 3D animation every now. Except maybe a flat. Oh right, yeah. You got like Hey, ain't you the A number one polecat honcho? Yeah, and you're in my way. Well get used to it, bud. When a rock wheelers hit the road, we own it. Look, I'm serious. Someone's ambushing the polecats. Someone's ambushing the polecats? Oh, heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Oh, boy, mini game time. <laughs> okay, I just have to keep punching him. Doesn't seem too difficult. Uh oh. <laughs> no, my favorite tire. Well, maybe we should have done a wheel check. Didn't police quest teach us anything? This is why you wear a helmet. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Um. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? 
I'm a mechanic, and apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Uh, who are you? How's it look? I gotta get out of this town fast. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Now, well, let's ask questions. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? <laughs> Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. Fair enough. This an authorized Corley Service Center. <laughs> call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where did you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Oh, we're in a town? It's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay. We've got items to get. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Sure, okay. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Okay. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Okay, fine. Uh... I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Don't squeeze it. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? Uh... Hmm, I don't know. My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? They gamble them on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. Well, you better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? Well, okay. I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Well, we got like a double headache now because we've been beaten over the head and then hit our head again for round. But Ben seems to have a tough skulls. Sure, it's fine. This gas can. Wish this gas can was full. Yeah, can we pick it up and give that? <laughs> I can't pick it up. Can I give it to her? A gas can won't help here. Apparently, well, I, was, I thought it would. A gas can won't help here. <laughs> I was seeing whether it would have a dialogue. It's like, you know, yes, yes, you've got a gas can, but we need fuel <laughs> in it. Okay. Photograph. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Hmm. Fine. Well, there's a hose here. Mm -hmm. This hose smells like gas. Sure, we'll pick that up. And... Look at the bike. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. <laughs> Get the bike. I'll wait till she's done. Okay. 
I'll wait till she's done. But you done that? Putting my lips on that. Fine. Okay. Let's leave. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I recognize your voice. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Okay, I'm trying to think. That would it be. I'm guessing that's Tress McNeil, actually. <laughs> Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood, it's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. What? Do we have broken legs? Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Uh, I'm guessing this. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. There are bikes. Wouldn't they already be there? I don't know how long the road is, so. Um, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. <laughs> How long did you have to wait for that, then? Doesn't seem like there's many people on the roads, but... Oh, your name's Miranda, apparently. Pretty small to be carrying me around. I rolled you. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Find us a ride yet? No. Can I check the newspaper? I owe her better than that. Fine. Okay. And there's a mailbox here. It's empty. Uh, can we pick it up? Well, we can close it. It's empty. Hmm. Okay. Carol there. Yeah, it just looks like this place is just a little shed. Sneaky get. Well, thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Hmm. Okay. Guessing there's several places we can go. Uh, there's a tower. There's an arena? There's another, like, trailer thingy over there. Go over here. Ow. Hmm. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Well, where there's someone doing welding, they probably have a, uh, acetylene torch. Smells like burning metal down there. Hmm. No. Can we kick the chimney? <laughs> well, that stop. Wait, did that stop them? From hmm. What about this door? Locked, but flimsy looking. Open up. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> Anyone in there? Who's out there? Hey, I hear you already. Yeah, hello. Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. I didn't even mention a welding torch. I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? This is important. Not to me, you crazy looking hood. Now bait it. Yeah, okay. You knock for a reason or you just <laughs> Hello. 
How's it going, buddy? This view defines true beauty. <laughs> I think he's had enough. Okay, he's just knocked out then. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> what about over here? Looks like a cabinet to me. Okay, can we open it? What's in there? It's empty, but there's something hanging on the door. Oh yeah, there is. A little bit of pixel hunting. A lockpick. Let's take that. Close it again. Because we're polite. What about these signs? His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Come to think of it, he does rather remind me of the uh, ride operator from the uh, carnival in Sam and Max. Except he's not as, he doesn't have as many tattoos. Uh, and he had a elevator in here, didn't he? Oh, there we go. We just have to step on that. The population is greatly I nominate that as least offensive of shows. What is it? It's like abstract art. Oh, he's making like... Okay, yeah, I see. He's welding pieces of metal together into like sculptures. There's like an emu here. Ouch. Or an ostrich. I don't collect art. And I also don't collect whatever that is. It's like the post boxes people have here in Australia, which are in the shape of like Nick Kelly or a cow or other things like that. Personally, I don't really like those. <laughs> like a bit quiche, but oh well. Ding dong. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Yeah, some of it can look neat. Better hustle this back to Mo. Yeah, okay, we'll pick up the whole thing. Oh, <clears throat> we just deliver it. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. There you go. Okay, can we go back there? I can just double click and zoom around. That's nice. Was there anything else down there? Because they did kind of just rush me back to her place as soon as I picked it up. What's this thing? I'm not putting my lips no, no, on no. Look at he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. I kind of feel maybe it is. It does. I mean. Okay, they've got the, uh, what this is down there, but I feel it would have been better if they had, like, to speak down there or something. I don't know. The coin which they had in Monkey Island 3 worked well. I don't want to start a fight with that thing. I don't even know what it is. There's a pot of cans over here. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. <laughs> I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a col yeah, it's a metal collage. It even said what it was. Uh, I don't actually. There's a radio. It's probably just piping Not in the music. A bad version, really. Can we cake it? Can't get up there. Okay. Can't get up there. Fine. Let's just leave. There's another cupboard at the back here. Well, that's a refrigerator. Could have fooled me. What's inside? It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Oh, let's take it. Because we're a kleptomaniac like that. Anything else in there? Nothing else in there but stains. Ew. There's a big fish there too. Oh, we can't see that. Okay, let's leave. I'm glad I came back otherwise I'd miss that meat. And of course it's going to be important. What's that? Oh, a sandbox. Apparently, this guy has a dog. Somewhere. No thanks. This sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Dog. Okay. Let's go this way. And up here. Junkyard entrance. Oh, hey, yeah, we were supposed to go to the junkyard to see if we could, uh, find some parts. The fork for our bike. It comes out a hole in the bottom and go 
goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Okay, we pull it. I'm guessing that's not going to stay up. Nope. Okay, so we need to weigh it down with something. Uh, what's this do, Hickey? It's oh, a lock pick. that's a lock pick. Yes, okay. It's a lock pick. Okay, so you can right click on them. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this hole smells like gas. Yes, okay. So we're going to have to siphon fuel from something. Uh. Um. <sighs> These rubbish bins there. I'm guessing that's no. That's not going down the uh, storm drain. I don't think Ben could fit down there. He's a big boy. What about over oh, here? Mark. This should be easy. Kick it. Uh. Open up, Todd. Talk. Open up, Todd. What about the sign? Todd's junkyard. Open up, Todd. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knocked him out. Oh, was he the guy in the other place? Okay. Ah, so Todd's the guy which we was at the door. Um, can we like, I don't know, kick the chain? No. I'm going to need something to like weigh that down with, aren't I? Can I go over here or something? No. And there's nothing there. Okay, let's go over here. I appreciate that uh, Ben Blob is sticking to the roads rather than just walking across the fields so. there. So I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. Ooh, fighting. Bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. Is that a, a fuel tower? <laughs> Is that a storage tower? It's like one of those spinning restaurants to me, with an extra bit stuck on to, stuck on the edge. There's a lock here. Tough looking padlock. Can we kick I this door down? Padlock. What about the door? Don't think so. Knock. It's locked. Yeah. I couldn't break that lock. Can you eat? Can you chew it off? I'm not putting my lips on that. Fine, okay. Let's use our pick. We're a man of many skills. Can I pick up the lock again? Might be useful. There we go. The fact that I could do it makes me think that it is useful. The top of this fence is electrified. How shocking. Sorry. Hmm. No. We don't need the signs. Let's enter. I feel like there's going to be people looking over this place. They wouldn't have all that security for no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. What is it? No. Just use the ladder. Ah. Uh. Go up anyway? I mean, it's just an alarm. Oh. What? Hello, it's the Sky Police coming in. All right there. I'm talking to you, boy. You are trespassing on a live property. Make still, we will not shoot you. Yee! And there they go. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that there's going to be no deaths in this game. That's not a thing in, like, LucasArts adventure games, so... Usually. I think it's something in the, um... Uh, what's it called? In the, um... Indiana Jones games, but I think you just restarted a bit. They figured they did good. <laughs> Well, I'm glad they did decide to, you know, make certain of that. Let's go back, because people have the memories of, um, you know, memories of goldfish. So we can't, like, 
run up there. Can I go anywhere else around here? I'm guessing that's just going to happen again if I climb up there. Hmm. Oh, that's how my inventory works. Okay. Let's try it again then. Let's see if anything different happens. Okay, we're just going to be faster. Maybe? Okay, that's what he does. Okay. I don't walk. <laughs> okay, that's out of this town. Also welcome. Hmm. Can we go back here? What if we put this meat in the sandpit over here since there's apparently a dog around that's not one of meat's many uses oh <laughs> uh, i thought we'd be baiting a dog oh sandbags Can we do something with them fill up the sandpit probably all that's holding this dump up you know, well let's take them they just fall apart bags of that ruined kick <laughs> He just likes kicking things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I had a sandbag, I'd be able to hold down the chain over there, but Ben's not being willing to pick that up. Hey, Maureen, do you have anything else? Let's go up here. Uh, can you tell me anything about those Mo. hobo, those yeah, those si guys in the uh, flying vehicle? No, well, you're just going to tell me where to look. To work. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, let's leave. Uh, also, Ben seems to be the type of person who has perma stuff. Not, not on foot. Let's go back here. Can I, like, toss the meat over the... Can I use it on the door? Meat on the door. That's not one of meat's many uses. I mean, can't we just climb the chain? We don't have to go through the entrance. You can't look at it when you're holding it. Comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. Yank it a few times. Maybe we could break it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Oh, can I put the padlock on it? That's not something I want to lock. <laughs> okay. There's a latch there. No, no, don't lick it. No lock. This should be. Okay, what if we put the lock, lock there? How's that help things? I don't understand what I'm looking at, really. Oh, okay. 
Fine. Okay, that makes sense. We locked the door that we used the chain to climb up. An ingen in ingenious uh, solution to the puzzle. Uh, yeah, I did see a dog. I didn't want you for you to jump down there, Ben. Cars. Just the kind of forks I need, right on top. Okay. Oh, hello, doggy. Ah! <laughs> Down. Every time this dog barks, it spits out. Spits out a uh, bolt. Okay. Well, we're going to have to, like, lock the dog in a car or something. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. Oh, hello, doggy. You're back. Nee. There is a bit more over there, but it seems like the dog's guarding it. Maybe we can put the meat just in the car and it'll keep the dog occupied long enough that we can go and get the part which we need. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. Yeah, that's, I, I did think that would be... Oh, okay, we could actually move around a bit more. How about up here? This one's got a roof. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. <laughs> Motorcycles never die of old age. Okay. What am I looking at? Okay, I think I understand. We have to get the dog in a car. Down. And then we have to use the, um... That one ill-tempered mongrel. And we have to use the crane to pull the, uh, dog up into the air or something like that. in there. Here, poochie pooch. Pooch. Bon appetit, mud. Huh. We keep our meat. No, we didn't. Do I have to go get some more then? Hmm. Let me just go check. Has some more meat miraculously appeared in the uh, refrigerator? Nothing else in there but stains. No. Okay. Oh, now we're going up into the crane? Okay. Perhaps that could have been highlighted a bit more. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. I'm guessing dog won't be a problem now. <laughs> okay, let's go get our part. <clears throat> nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Uh -huh. Just gotta gas her up and go. Well, we got that bit. And we just need to get fuel. Um. Hmm. Was there anything else in there which I could get? Now that the dog's uh, preoccupied. Yeah, we just lug one of the wrecks back. Cars. No, thank you. Cars. No, thank you. Yes, yes. That is a lot of wrecked cars. Though we did see a hover car in the introduction. Junk. And also those guys from the police. Get out of here. I better get out of here. I better get I better I better get out of here. I better get out of here. Fine, okay. Uh that's just getting up there again. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else there. Can I get this padlock back? A lock pick won't help me. Okay, thank you. If I can take it back... To me says that I can make use of it somewhere else, perhaps? If I didn't need it, you would just say I don't need that anymore. That's how these things usually work. What have I got for this? Lock, a lock, a lock pick, a tube, and a can. And I'm guessing we could like drill a hole in a pipe or something and get the fuel out that way, but we probably have to get all the way up to the tank up the top there. Uh, they're not letting me. Have it. Unless we have to like. Hide. We hide back here before they arrive. Ah, okay. That seems like the solution. Touch. Touch. No touching. behind here. There we go. Remind where are you? Hey, where is he? I made him last time. You set off the alarm. Maybe some of them just pulled him. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, actually. I don't see no way. He must have run away. Yeah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. I recognize that voice. Creed. Let's go up and get him. That's the voice actor who voiced Sam. I'm pretty sure, anyway. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to be getting our fuel from the uh, tower. Ugh. Are we emptying it into the can? Down there in the yard. It's him. Get him. Over there. 
Quick, you go around <laughs> the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Uh, that's probably not going to go too well for you. I love surprises. All right, here she comes. We didn't need another wheel or anything, did we? Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're what? serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> Sorry, I set fire to your place. Mad, maybe it's hard. It's hard for me to tell. Right, look like he's a sneaky one. This time he ain't getting past us. Them, no, keep looking. <laughs> oh, we're back. Maybe we shouldn't have just stolen the fuel from the tower. Uh, now what? We could go back. The ambush is the other way. Fine. I mean, we came back here. Maybe. Yeah. I've already said my goodbyes. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Fine. No. So that's the way which we went, though. Just got to look at it again. Yeah. It's like seeing UFOs over the street. Yeah, he just doesn't want to go that way. Can we go here again? And, like, draw their attention by touching this again. Touch. You hear that? Back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. That, that seems like that was the solution. A little weird. Because you'd think that was all done and dusted. But... size of a thimble man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Yeah. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Yeah. Do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. I have a plan. 
It's the most emotion we've seen on his face. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's called Cabin. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <laughs> I guess Rick Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off the foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> You've got to hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. She's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Uh, I used to call her the Diamond Dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marie. Marie? Hmm. that moving over there by that pile i don't know rip but i think that pile is voice i recognize that voice as well <laughs> yes now i remember you're the smart one aren't you there's mo's shack but i don't see the memo i think that's maurice lamarche actually <laughs> maybe i beat them here Okay. Can I save? I'll just make a save. Even though we're going to continue. Good. Okay. Also, I just want to check the options because to me, sometimes the music seems a little bit loud. I'll just put it down a bit. It's sort of drowning out the voices during some of the cutscenes, I feel. Just a tad. There we go. Maybe that might that might be a little bit low. There we go. It doesn't seem like I can do anything about voices during cutscenes because that's just one tab, so that's going to be the original sound mixing. Well, no one's here. She wasn't like about the toasters. There's a lot of toasters in the background there. Okay. Wait. I think she took a photo too. Yeah, she took the photo off the wall. I think we had a look at that beforehand. Debris. Looks like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm. Mo said she didn't have a camera. Here's Mo's picture of her and her oh, uncle. Oh, okay, there we go. Ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's pretty much my only lead right now. Would we get that if we didn't look at the photo? Interesting. It's smashed up, open, and there's no film inside. Where's the camera? Oh, there. Can we take it? It's smashed up, open, and there's no film inside. I suppose I it's kind it. of... Useless without any film in it. Uh. 
This place is messed up enough. Anything else around here? Something in the grass, perhaps? No. This, pl this place is messed up enough. Just being thorough. Can't really see anything else. No. Okay. I think we can leave. He says as he paranoidly checks all of the pieces of grass everywhere. I doubt it's going to be that easy. We saw in a cutscene that Maureen found the uh, camera first, so she probably took it. Took the film. Let's go. New spike. Go up this way? Might be this way? Can we go back and talk to the rest of our gang members? Oh, hey, okay, that's that way. There's a big truck there. Uh, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I hope we don't have to refuel our motorbike. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Oh. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Okay, fine. We just can't go there. I suppose it kind of makes sense that the police would be all over that. What was the death of a, uh, the head of a company? Let's drive up this way then and go back to the, uh, pub which we were at. And have a look at this truck. Oh, it's a semi. Well, same thing. This sucker's mine. What? Truck's yours? Look, I really need a ride. Okay, well, go inside then. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight, Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Mellonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. Hmm. You got anything else to say? Look, let me tell you what happened. I told you I don't want to get involved. Fine. Also, telling you is not going to be that that useful. Your guy, your name's apparently Emmett. He doesn't look happy. No wonder he keeps poking himself with a dagger or with a knife. Wouldn't be happy if that happened. Either. He's got a knife. Yeah. Playing what? Five finger fillet. I could do that. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. <laughs> Am I distracting you? Yeah. 
That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers? They turned me around, said police business over the pigs. Hmm. I just killed a guy. <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. Fair enough. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. <laughs> well, now, at least it's fine now that he's got permission. Not gonna happen. Is this gonna be another mini game? Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Fine, okay. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. <laughs> Up the ante. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Fine. It's good talking to you. Friendly folks you get in here. Damn, it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your home, Quahog. <laughs> he doesn't look happy. Oops. He's got a knife. Yeah. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Fine. He just doesn't want to be upstaged. Got this photograph. Can we show it to you? Ever hear of this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch? Well, uh, I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink meat there real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. Hmm. Probably better than what they usually would get. Keep repeating, you get to play a minigame. I think that's why... So I had done a little bit of reading beforehand, and I think I saw someone mention that. But I wasn't sure whether it was, like, required or anything. Can I show you this? I need to get to this place. Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch. I need to go in that direction, too, but the pigs are running the sky at night. How poetic. Well, let's keep bugging him, then. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Only if it will shut you up. There we go. <laughs> You're pathetic. Oh, come on, that was correct. Damn, Damn it. I can't really do it that much faster than that. The mouse is, uh... <laughs> anyway. Did we get anything for that? Let me try and do it once more. I just have to keep doing it. Let me try that again. Only if it'll shut you up. <laughs> I suppose you have to do it closer to the, uh... Going great. Damn. Damn. Mm. 
<laughs> We're gonna die from losing all of our fingers. by not clicking in the bright spots. Damn, damn. Oh, damn. No. Damn. Oh, am I messing up what you're supposed to do? Can we just take the semi? <laughs> Enough messing around playing games. Just stabbing ourselves in the fingers. Look, I really need a ride. Look, I really need a ride. We got no time for games in our games. Exactly. You think this is a game? Uh. Well, can we just take our bike? They'll probably be looking for a motorbike. That's why he'd be wanting to get a yeah, ride, so. Can we go back? Yeah, hello. Ben, no time to talk. Oh, hello. Well, it's stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my editor in Corville. Tell him I took pictures of the Corley murder. You got pictures? Yeah, but some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures? Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm not going near the place. They kill me! Get my editor! He's gotta get me out of this! Take one of these fake IDs to get through the roadblocks! <laughs> wow. Thank you. My career is riding on those pictures! Help me, Ben. You're my only hope. Obligatory? Oh, don't worry. I owe you one. Yeah. If Miranda's thug is the same one that trashed Moe's place, that could be Miranda's camera I saw there. But then, who's got the film? Not forgetting that that kid dr drove off without us, though I don't know if Ben would be able to fit in her small car. It was like a two-seater or something like that. Now play the Stitches minigame before we bleed out. <laughs> that one's even harder because you have to actually, like... You know, hit both sides of your fingers, otherwise you miss and stitches don't go in. How's it going in there? Oh, we can't talk to you? Oh, Ms. Wood. Go away! You're blowing my cover! Hmm. Hey, come out of there. I want to talk to you. No way! It's too dangerous! Uh, I kicked the dumpster. Bong. Take oh. that. Quit it. No noise? I've touched it enough. Okay, fine. Let's go. So what do we get for that? Yeah, fake IDs. Pretty mediocre fake ID. Hope no one notices the correction fluid under the name. <laughs> Apparently they've worked so far, or does she just pull out another one when the first one stops working? It's like, oh no, that's not me. This is me. Oh, I can't go anywhere? Uh. Pretty mediocre. That wouldn't be too useful. I no show it to you. This is the correction fluid under the name. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Hmm. Oh, so how about a ride? Not going to be useful now that you stabbed it. back and find my bike. It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. 
Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. Yeah, yeah. Fertilizer better not be like tearing off the paint off your bike. Oh great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. <laughs> he's just huddled up in there. It's a door. Sorry, sir. Only police vehicles beyond this point. I'm just a big Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural sting operation. What's the back? Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you really get your man. <laughs> I'm amazed that worked. Hmm. We stopped moving. with your truck yeah <laughs> loose holes uh, nothing big uh, I, I already pulled your bike out it's sitting right over there well nice knowing you gotta hit the road you know hmm uh oh he did have a fuel leak yeah and he took my fuel line to fix it that trucker is gonna die for what he did. That trucker is gonna die for what he did. Okay. Nobody messes with our bike. Just one all over there. The barn's locked. Can you kick it open? Open up, you minx. <laughs> the barn's locked. Okay, fine. But he did take us to where he'll say where we wanted to go, but uh well. Looks like a mink pelt. Probably pretty rotten. I'm not into furs. Okay. What's this? Oh. That's the insignia of the vultures. I can't believe Mo used to be a vulture. But then again. How else could she have gotten that recoil booster? Hmm. You need to sleep? <laughs> Just... Oh. Hmm. A tire iron. Take that. Hmm. No. You look at the bed. Rustic. Use the bed? Not after Mo made it so nice. <laughs> you just ruined it by moving the pillow. By the pictures. Lots of bikes. Okay. Right, this one. This must be the window Maureen stared out of as a young girl, dreaming of her life repairing toasters. <laughs> that one sounds strange out of context. Tough looking padlock. Well, oh, we don't. Oh, no, we've got our lockpick. Isn't that just a bent nail? Oh, that's a t tie rind. junk and a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Oh, we did take the fuel from our bike. He just took a fuel pipe. Fuel line. Okay, fine. I'm not into big into vehicles. <laughs> He had already determined that. Wow. 
what? How weird. Well, gee, thanks. Could you be more considerate? Someone else might want to use it. First, that means all we have to do is sit here and wait. That was fertilizer. Maybe it could be useful. What a stinking mess. Can we pick it up? Maybe I'll just take a little. <laughs> oh, we got some. This stuff reeks. Maybe we can plant, grow some plants with it. Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. Ha ha. Can we pick it up? Uh, where are you going, Ben? <laughs> and he wandered off into the desert and was never seen again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why'd you go all the way around the back there? Were you like kicking specific parts of it? I ain't looking to buy. Okay. Can we pick up a rock? Anything else with it which I could do? The wheels. A lot of weight on those babies. It's bolted on. Well, we have a tie ride. Would we want to move our bike first? Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Um. I'm going to put my bike over there or something. I don't want it flipping onto it. No? It's fine? I guess it's fine. Okay, just push it then, I suppose. Yeah, um... I feel like that crushed the front wheels of your bike, Ben. Or not, your bike's actually behind it. Okay, fine. One mess. You just made it worse. Are you proud of what you did? What a stinking mess. I'd call that a road hazard. Net. <laughs> Can you kick it? Uh. I've done my heavy lifting for the day. Okay, fine. And we did this because... To block the road, I suppose? Oh, I actually have to... Okay.
Uh, are we going to get attacked by those things? Oh, hey. Bye! <laughs> Look at him run. Okay. We gotta swerve around the truck. No. <laughs> oh, there we go. That worked out all right. They even got like a. 30 star car or something. It was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to look for Corvette and Pike with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Okay. Where are we? Oh, well. Yeah, bridge. Hmm. Someone. So Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Okay, it's got wings on it. One of the gorge's many casualties. Someone getting shot out of a cannon. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. I'm guessing he didn't make it. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. Notice. Jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. Okay. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. I'm guessing the cave fishers because they went after the uh the truck x bridge <laughs> talk about burning your bridges something tells me the bridge is out maybe hmm. no can you kick it no okay maybe we could Not jump across it foot. maybe we could jump across it with a What's skateboard. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with dayglow flames painted on it. Hmm. No. Can you kick the gorge? No. Maybe you'll fill it in. So nice, nice environment. I would like to see this sort of in this sort of area of America. Not on foot. Okay, fine. What's he got that I ain't got? Except for a recoil booster, a hover lift, and a silly looking ramp with dayglow flames painted on it. Okay, fine. So that's just uh, over there, is across the bridge. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hop on your bike. I'm guessing we're going to have to go to one of those. Uh, one of those uh, mines do I just have to keep oh they're over the other side uh! okay. nope how do I exit oh well We can check their car. 
Fender. Is it a, is it bent? Now there's one thing I've never needed. I don't touch anything without wheels. Yeah, a hovercraft. That's trashed. I don't touch anything without wheels. Uh. <laughs> Okay, fine. It doesn't. Is there anything here which we could get? We use a tire iron on it. There's no tires on it. Oh well. Hey, there. How we go? How about that? What do we get? A bunch of wires. It's a single hover lip unit. Oh, okay. Can we get the other one? I'm assuming there's like one in each end. I've touched it enough. No? We only need one? Okay. That's trashed. It's only been trashed for a short while, but it's already been... been, uh, checked for parts. Rum. I, I'm glad I could just go straight through that. Okay, I think I have to just press left mouse button when the sign pops up. I thought we'd have to, like, turn off that direction. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that's going back to the... Okay. Oh, we're driving back now. This is an interesting map screen. Okay. Right. Brum, 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 brum. Uh, do I just keep going along here? Hello, how's it going? Find the tour. What? I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Oh, okay. We just meet someone <laughs> on the road. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking the fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. Uh, any fighting tips? Any fighting tips, Tork? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. I'm guessing these gangs are going to be like easy, medium, and hard. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. It's okay. What's up with those cave fish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold hearted killers. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? I'm guessing that's what we saw during the cutscene. They're like chuds. Except probably without the, uh, see. Do you know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? Uh. Blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got its ramp in their hideout, you know. Kind of guess that. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible unless you've got those weird cavefish specs. 
Okay. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Is that him again there? Oh no, that's someone else. Hey, it's my old friend. What's your name? Glad to see you. Yeah, <laughs> just, just quiet. There we go. Bye. <laughs> Just have to keep riding along here. Hello. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Are you just happy to see me? Why, yes it is. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> okay. I guess we just have to start punching them before we start talking to them. He squirts oil like a, uh, he squirts oil like a squid. Did we just get a new weapon? Bound, two by four. Okay. Perhaps this is like the uh, Secret of Monkey Island, like, you know. You like choppers, huh? How about this chopper? Ha ha ha! You're firewood, chump. You got a. Saw through my two by four. Ah! Yeah, okay. I was going to say, is this, uh, this is kind of like, I think that's where the entrance is. Um, whether this is like the, uh, you know, Insult sword fighting. You just have to keep doing it until you get shouldn't hit a man wearing glasses. Good enough I items or something. Maybe. There we go. We got a chain. But I don't. He wasn't actually using it. Hmm. Oh, I see. We can change it there. Now I'm, I could have used you die. Yeah, you're gonna eat this, Charles. Now I'm mad. What did you say? I could have used that. Did we lose it? <laughs> a chain, a chain with a spiked skull on it. I'm actually I saw the fertilizer there, so I'm guessing we could use the fertilizer on the cave fish or something. Hey, hey! Eh. No, harder, like this. Do 
Hold, hold, hold. There we go. One extra gun. <laughs> yeah, but we'd just be pissed at whipping people, was it? Uh. Ah, okay. Don't even bump into them. Right. This is neat. Rather odd for it to be in a adventure game. <laughs> okay. He just zooms off as soon as you uh, hit him. <laughs> Is this 2x4 beats uh, club or beats flail? <laughs> Oh, that noise is us bumping over the uh, lumps on the road. Aggressive little war, ain't ya? There we go. We got the chain back. Everyone, it's, everyone's just here. You're gonna die now. Yeah. Yeah. I could have used that. Now I'm mad. Yeah, I lost my chain again. Okay. So we're supposed to use that somewhere else then. There we go. Chainsaw? Nope. Hmm. Okay, I don't understand that. Oh, he tosses the uh, fertilizer behind him. He did say that they follow the uh, lumps on the road, so do we have to cover them up or something? Nope. Come on. Back again. <laughs> I've got a plank too. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I feel like I have to read up a bit on how this whole thing works. I don't think I'm grasping the finer points of it. That rock have a face on it. You drop anchor or something? Suck nitro, snail bait. Hmm. Hey, 
you die. You're gonna die now. Now I'm... Now I'm mad. He says as he hits the uh, asphalt. Okay, so, I mean, I, okay. I just need to work the timing out a bit more. That's what I'm doing. I'm just clicking as fast as I can. And yeah, I think there's more to it than that. Okay. Shouldn't hit a man wearing glasses. I don't know how many hits you need to get to be able to defeat them. Sometimes it seems like a lot more. Is it like three hits and you're out, but you have to get three in a row? Well, he didn't immediately squirt oil then. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think I was onto something there. What's wrong? Lead divers? Sorry, gotta run! Hmm. Maybe I use the fertilizer on him. That way he'll get all... Back again? Good. Okay, lesson's over. Time for the final exam. Is that all the pain you can dish out? Is that supposed to be an Australian yeah. accent? Shake, shake. Is there any other way I can go for the moment? Hmm, let me have a look. That's the mine road. This is for the car. Okay, continue on, because I think we did what we needed to do there. This is the semi-trailer. We go further up because the guys aren't there now. 
Also, the, uh... Uh, what's it called? The, um... Barn of that, uh, mink place would be open now, wouldn't it? Maybe? I mean, she didn't close it after she went in there. In your own time, Ben. <laughs> the barn's locked. Who locked it? This chain could never handle my horsepower. Incredible the kind of weapons you find out in the road. Yeah. We use this on the. It's meant for nuts. <laughs> okay. Anything else in here? No, it doesn't seem so. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here on it. I don't know if I can get in there. Not going back that way. Too many cops. Okay, fine. I suppose we've just got to do the mine road thing. We'll have another look at it. I might have to do some reading up on this the next time. Just so that I understand exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, because I'm still kind of flailing around a bit. I'm sure there's like, you know, when they have their weapon ready is like when you're supposed to attack or something. Back for more? Let's chop you down and catch a ring. <sighs> oh yeah. That, that's like a one hit. It's so like, hit them, drive away, then hit... Yep. Oh, because he's low down, is that what you mean? Yeah, it does seem like when he's looking up is when he's not going to be... Okay, you can dodge that. <laughs> it seems like after a while, maybe he just goes, no, nope, get out of here. You think the key is the booster guy? Hmm. I do know I need that booster. But... How to get it? It seems like I get one hit of him, so I probably need the chainsaw, come to think of it. That's a one hit dealie. Eat this, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, now I'm mad. <clears throat> Freaky punk. You die. <clears throat> I hate bull cats. Now I'm mad. <laughs> so done. We get this again.
What's wrong? Lead divers? Sorry. Gotta run. Yeah, I feel... Is that Mark Hamill? Sounds a little bit... Mark Hamill, -ish. you like three times and you hit me like twice can i use the keyboard for this i can hmm. would that be easier than using the mouse as i've been doing because then the keyboard will be like putting the full left and right in rather than <laughs> bye even hit you once sir I thought I hit you but it uh, seemed to go straight through I kind of want to see the 3d models they used for this there we go what if we I can defeat the weaklings Drop anchor. <laughs> well, I hit him twice there. <clears throat> and here's this hello again. Your bike slides to the left and right. You can't just stop. you six times or is it like amount of damage different weapons deal a uh, two by four is not very painful hmm that might be it now i'm mad eat this charlie you die you're gonna die now I hate hold. This time you're gonna 
I was trying to get away, but wasn't moving. Okay, I think I'll try once more. One more guy, and then I'll save it and we'll continue with this next time. I've enjoyed this so far. This motor combat thing is, uh, as I said, I'm going to have to read up a bit on it. Loser. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Right. Ooh, hey. Well, there's the uh, updated version of it. I press F1. Quite different. Learn to run! <laughs> Yeah, quite the difference. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, you can't save during this? Okay, fine. Yeah, we have to just find a place to stop, it seems, to be able to save. So we'll go up here. Yep. We'll stop here and we'll save. Uh, sure, up there. Uh, that's fine. And we'll continue with this next time. 42%? Huh, the game doesn't seem like it's that long. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, interesting story so far. We're enjoying the puzzles, they're not too difficult. Uh, this bike combat is, um, hmm. Maybe it could just explain it a bit more. I suppose that talk was sort of the tutorial for it. Um, and sure, it sort of explained the basics of it. It's, I suppose it's sort of like the arcade parts, which are in, say, uh, which was in, say, like, Space Quest 1 or Space Quest 2. They're, they're neat, but in a way they kind of break the flow of an adventure game, because then you get stuck on it and you have to bypass it. The one in Space Quest 1 was more of a pain. That was the hovercraft where you have to avoid the rocks. And if you hit too many of them, you just die and you have to start the whole thing again. Um, I think it's in Space Quest 3 where you had the um, Astro Chicken, which wasn't too bad, but that had that mini game which you had to get a high score on to be able to get a note to uh, advance further. I can't remember if Space Quest 2 had one in it. Anyway. Um, I'll thank you very much for joining, and I hope you'll join me again where we continue uh, full throttle next time.